Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and welcome to the Wondershare PDF Element YouTube channel. PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF solution with powerful tools to edit, convert, annotate, fill and sign PDF documents, currently with over 2 million active daily users. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to organize your PDF pages with PDF Element. This is something that has been quite frustrating with other applications in the past, but thankfully with PDF Element, it makes it simple and intuitive to organize your files into a professional looking document. You can easily sort, add, rotate, move, split, crop, and delete pages with just a few simple clicks. So let's jump right in and show you how it's done. So most of the things that we're going to do today are in the page panel here, and this will show all of your pages in one handy place. So the first thing I want to show you is how to split your PDF pages. And this comes in useful for when you only need part of a long PDF, so you can easily split it into multiple or individual chapters or separate pages. So head over to the split button over here. Then you can split by the number of pages, or you can also split by top level bookmarks as well. Choose where you want to save, hit OK. So the original file had five pages. It split it into three documents of two pages. That last one obviously has a blank page, but that's how easy it is to do. Okay, so to delete PDF pages, very, very simple. Again, head over to the page panel. If there's any pages you want to delete, you can right click to delete. There's also the delete icon here. And there's also a, another icon here. You can also hit control, select multiple pages, and then delete it that way as well. You can also hit the delete button on your keyboard, hit delete, and it will remove your pages for you. This can also be done in the thumbnail panel over here by right clicking, pressing delete, or you can again hit delete on your keyboard and hit delete. PDF element makes it very simple to move pages around. It's simply by going to the page panel and you can rearrange things by just dragging them like so into the order that you want. You can also select multiple files and move them at once like so. And again, this can also be done in the thumbnail panel by dragging them up and down like so. Again, you can also select multiple files and simply drag them down. Rotating PDF pages is very easy as well. This is useful for scan documents, for example, that have the wrong orientation. So you can literally select all pages or even an individual page. And then you'll see the icon here to move in the desired direction. Again, you can do this to all your pages at once by selecting all the files and using one of the rotation icons here, rotate left or rotate right. This is again, something that can be done from the thumbnail panel by right clicking hit rotate and this time you'll get an option to choose the exact type of rotation you want and you can also choose the page range hit ok and voila cropping pdf pages is very simple in pdf element this is really useful for resizing and to also to help create consistency within a pdf composed of like for example pages of different sizes so for this we just go over to the page panel again go to page boxes and here you can apply your crop. Let's just say, for example, you wanted to only have this image here, choose which margin control option you want, hit apply. And if we go over to the view panel, you'll see that image has been cropped. Now keep in mind, this doesn't actually delete the cropped out part. It simply just hides it. So if you wanted to undo it, go back to page boxes, it's still there. So you can undo the crop like so. Keep in mind, you have four margin control options. There's crop box, bleed box, trim box, and art box, uh, depending on your page size specialized needs. So inserting PDF pages is really useful for when you want to add one or multiple pages to a PDF file. You can add existing PDF files from blank pages or others into a current file. So we're in the page tab. You want to hit insert. And if we choose blank pages, you can choose the location of where you want that page to be. Hit OK. And then you have a new blank page. If you wanted to insert from another PDF file, let's say, for example, we'll use this as an example. We want to put that on the last page, for example, hit OK. And then 
those pages from the other PDF are now in your current PDF file. This is also something that can be done from the thumbnail panel by right clicking, insert pages, choose your location once again, we'll put it first this time, hit OK, and there you have it. Now combining PDF pages is when you need to combine multiple files into one single PDF document. So this can be done from the home panel. If we go over to the combine PDF, choose your files. Let's say you wanted to combine multiple files. Hit open. Be sure to check generate new catalog from bookmarks. If you want to have bookmarks at the start of your PDF page, you can specify which pages you want from each individual PDF file and then choose the output location. Let's put it on the desktop for now. Hit apply. And here is our new PDF file with all of those three files combined. And as you can see, this is the first page with the catalog. So to extract pages from a PDF, this is really useful if you need like individual or certain pages from a PDF file and you can extract that into its own PDF file. So for example, here, if we only wanted, for example, slide three and slide four, select those, hit extract, and then you have your own individual file with those two pages and then you can then save it. If you didn't select any files and just hit extract, you can then choose the page range from here. Let's say we only want slide one, three, and five. Hit OK and it extracts page one, three, and five from the previous file. PDF Element gives you the ability to replace pages with other PDFs. And this specific feature is only for the Windows version, but this lets you replace specific pages of a PDF with pages from another PDF. So for example, if you wanted to replace the last page, hit replace. You can specify the pages here as well, and then select the file, hit open. And again, you can choose which page you want to replace it with from that file. Hit OK, and it's replaced it with the last page from the other file. Really simple, really fast. So the final feature today is the set page labels. This is again something that's only available in the Windows version. And this is a way of naming and numbering pages of a PDF that can be distinct from bookmarks and file names. So this is useful for when the pages on the document don't match the page numbers on the page thumbnails, for example. So to do so, hit the page labels. Here you can select the page range and choose which style you want to use. Let's say you want to change it to ABC. Hit apply and it changes that for you here and also in the thumbnail panel. Now keep in mind this only affects the page thumbnails and also in the page panel here. So if you wanted to actually physically write these on the slides themselves, you can use the header and footer feature for that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section down below. Check out the links in the description box as well to find out more and download PDF Element now and see the benefits all for yourself. And lastly, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe and bell notifications icon to see more. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.